Please welcome Better Than Ezra. Then I should drop you at your door. I'll leave tonight and vanish up the shore Anywhere but here It's three o'clock, we're driving in your car You're screaming out the window with the stars Please don't drive Something wrong. We make it home to your place before dawn. She said, Please don't drive me home. Please don't take me home. Play the as we are who we are. Hey, this hurts you now. Get that far. Then who's supposed you would go? I've already learned. I've already learned. Enough to know that. Do 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 Have a seat, have a seat, sit down, sit down. Uh, how you been? Welcome back. It's our third time. I guess it is your third time, isn't it? Now, what was it? You guys were a prize in a contest I saw. What was this? Um, what, what prize was that? A real little radio contest uh, at a uh, 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 record some... company. Huh? <laughs> Part of the trials and tribulations of being in a band is you do a lot of radio promotional events. Right. And this was in Portland, Oregon. It was Win Better Than Ezra at your house. Oh, at your house, what a thrill. <laughs> and then, unfortunately, no one screens who wins the prize. <laughs> so it was a Sunday afternoon, and we arrived at this kind of shack in this uh, bad part of Portland. And that's a nice word for it. Yeah. Shack? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shack, and you had to do your hands like this. And it was kind of like, almost like one of those America Undercover things, teens without parents. Right, right. <laughs> and it was, it was uh, there was a keg in the middle. They must have been 15 or 16 years old. Probably into like Megadeth or something, not into Better Than Ezra. But uh, we started playing and a song called Desperately Wanting off our last album. And I was writing the emotional climax of the song, right. and this guy stands up and goes, 
Anybody need a beer? <laughs> and I was like, so suffice to say, we took photos, and it was kind of gang signs were being thrown, and we now, survived, though, we're here. Was that, was that the worst gig? That's, that's, that's a strange, one of the strangest That, that was the best gig. <laughs> that was, yeah, that, yeah, the tour's been tough lately. Yeah. <laughs> Have you had some odd... We've had some odd food lately. Yeah, yeah. We were just in Germany, and we played in Munich yeah. at, a, at a rock club that was called the Rock Club. The Rock Club. The Rock Club called the Rock Club. Yeah. And we were eating this uh, some type of poultry dish, yeah. and we were talking to this guy named Mateus, who was our, our translator, and we are like, Mateus, this is great, this is great uh, poultry. What, is it turkey? He was like, no, 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 it's uh, smaller than turkey. We were like, it's chicken. He goes, no, 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 bigger, bigger than chicken. And we were like, well, what is it? And he was like, uh, pigeon. Oh, pigeon. pigeon. <laughs> So that's, that's our... Mm. I that's our we went down was my driver, too. <laughs> oh, is that right? I was just in Munich a few days ago. He was my driver. You had the pigeon. Mateus. Mateus. Yeah. Yeah. They Mateus scraped them off the front of her limo. <laughs> <laughs> so we hear, whenever we, whenever we hear, you know, it's... It means dinner time. Dinner time. Well, guys, that's great. The new CD is called, uh, How Does Your Garden Grow? Better than Ezra. Thank you, guys. Be right back. Your garden grows a new CD. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank Very you nice so work. Much, and of course, Robert Downey Jr. in Dreams. Thank you, Robert. Welcome back. Good to see you. And of course, the lovely Holly Hunter living out loud is her film as well. Thank you, folks. Sharon Stone on, uh, on Monday when we come back. And 49 is quarterback Steve Young. Stay tuned for Conan. Oh, Bonnie Ray, too. So, ooh, watch her pitch. She's going to be pitching at Anna. Have a good weekend.